you'll open up the dot dat files it'll give you like instructions on how to do it it's really simple you just open up the the program and you put in the uh the hex that like like the, like the, 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 the offsets which is like where the stuff is and hex i guess and then you put in the id whatever the hexing stuff information tell it where exactly it is in the file and then you tell it to insert the sound file that's named sound.wave and sound sound.wave and the smash bros bizarre have to be in the same folder with um oops microsoft word second hour has been the same folder with the program because it won't be able to find them if you don't put the sound the sound both ball sound thingy and the sound wave in the same folder so and you also need a few other files in order to get this thing to work correctly I think I guess isn't there a special thing you Oh wait, that's right. You don't need that anymore. <laughs> How convenient. Anyway, um, that's all you need, I guess, is whatever this uh, game, uh, whatever this uh, program comes with, is what you need. Is uh, S A W N D Z. And so you just open it. It says, uh, wait, wait, wait. Then you like load. You go to the Roy folder, you go to the replacements folder, you go to Mars Sound Sound Zero, and you would go to the same place, but you go find Sound Zero, copy it, paste it in, rename it to sound.wave, and then um, just hit just push the button that says convert and insert and make sure you have sound.wave and the smash both sound f file in there and it'll insert the um the sound w sound file into the ball thing the ball file the ball sound file and it'll, it'll replace what you are telling it to replace so it's not that hard to figure out um the hard the only really hard part I would say is doing it doing it like by, by yourself. Like if you found like a if you like had a sound file that you like if you went and downloaded a sound clip and you wanted it to be I, I can't like oh let me let me let me first explain uh, the green one next. Uh the green one I'll give a link to that one too. The only time I had to use the green one was with uh was with um the uh, tail sound effect actually, because it was like it gave me a, this file called some tails dot s a w n d z, and I'm like, I never used something like that before. Apparently, all you have to do is just push insert that file type, and then you click it, and it, and it puts tails of sounds right in there. And I'm like, how does that work? But I don't know. I don't care. It's pretty uh, really cool. So yeah. Um, so yeah, you do, if it if you if it comes with a file called .s a n d or s a n s a w n whatever it is, swans. S a if it looks like swand swand, then you just click you just use the green one and you insert that file into your uh, Smash Bros thing and it'll work. And if you want like if you want like uh, and, like this makes it really easy so that you can mix different replacements together because um, if someone just gives you their Smash Bros sound file that, and like you have, a, you have a different one that has other stuff on it then you have to take out manually what they have and then put it inside yours that would take a long time depending on how many sounds there are so what I like to do is that um, if uh, one person that um, that like does that that um and I take like I take that one as a base and I put all the other all the other stuff I want inside of it too. So that I can but it it, it is it, it sound sound replacing is is really tedious sometimes, like 
Like, it's not as easy as music replacing yet. Which, music replacing is kind of tedious too, but it's a little bit easier than sound replacing, but you know. Anyway, that's how you do that. And then if you want to do it yourself with like, um, with like your own sound clips, then make your sound clip. Well, actually, actually, first you gotta find, got, yeah, you should go find the sound clip and the thing. So, I'm gonna have a link to Smashbox. I don't, um, the Smashbox is the old, old, old version of Brawlbox because it's the only thing that can still read sound effects. I don't know why they took it out of the old, out of the new version, but they did. I think it might be in a new, newer version of Brawlbox. I'm not sure. Anyway, you open up the the stain and um, let's just say you want to go to Wa Wario. And like, I don't, you can't hear this, but oh okay, yeah, that's a okay. There's like different ones. Okay, whenever you go to a character, characters, uh, it'll be like S and D group Chara Wario or whatever it is, and then you open it up, and then with like pushing the plus, push this, and then, like one of them will have sound effects, and one of them will have voices. That one was Wario going ha, huh! and so. It's 46 seconds. So if you wanted to replace that with a different sound, like saying you're, say you put like I don't know, a random character over Wario that's like Haunter, and you want him to go ha ha or whatever, you like if like you would have to make sure I would you had to export this out of here, this wave file, put it in a program like Sony Vegas or something, or, or Audacity, and make sure you make um the sound file the exact same frequency and the exact same length as this one because you see if you can find if you can find the frequency right here frequ fre the frequency is right here it says 22050 oh. and then you just put that in that red program where it says frequency or yeah then you have to make sure and do that like like audacity has this like thing uh, audacity is like the best thing to Set the, set the change the frequency, or you can use Sony Vegas and just go to the rendering type and tell it to be the certain frequency. But you just you go down here, project rate, and click other, and then type it in yourself. Two two o five o. That's for most force clips. Make sure it's the same exact length. But the thing about Audacity is that I don't like whenever you save the uh, file or like export it as a wave or whatever. Uh, I hate when that happens, but whenever you export it as a wave, it, the file will come back with a with a long repeated silence after you change the frequency. So you gotta open the file back up again, and then make sure there's not, there's not a long thing of like uh, silence. And then you gotta highlight, like say um, you had this, which is a long song that I probably should have just not imported. But Say you had this, I know this is a music thing, but say you had this, and this was the long repeated silence that was just totally mute. You would highlight it like this, like this drag, and you push delete, and it deletes that out. So yeah, it's not that, not that hard. Not, not that hard. Audacity is usually pretty easy. I mean, it might have a bunch of bells and whistles, but you can use it as a basic program, which you, is you just know where stuff is, and it's not even that hard to figure out where stuff is. You just make you just met, met, it's to tell it to be the same project rate slash sample rate slash frequency. It, it, that's like the three different types of things you can call it: sample rate, project rate, and frequency. Um, usually, it's called frequency because that's what Brawl calls it. And uh, you just gotta do that. Make sure it's the same length. If it's not the same length, it won't work because it's too long. If it's, not, if it's not the same length, then you gotta go find a sound clip that's longer. Like this one's one. Oh, this one's one minute and four seconds. And that's while you're eating something like ha. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry you can't hear that. I just um, don't have my sound turned on for the recording. Um, anyway, so that's another. That's that's how you put in, in your own sound effects. Oh, also, what you do for the hex. Any numbers for the offsets? You find the wave file. See, it says data offset. 
copy like ignore the 0x part just copy the numbers right there and then go over here to wave data offset paste that then go to the next one the wave the wave at the wave file after the one you want to um, the one that comes right after the one you want to replace copy that data offset too put it right here in next wave offset box and then um, go to the thing that says 0x2 whatever thingy and then it'll, it'll have data offset 1, data offset 2 usually it's 0 so don't so like make sure it's 0 though but if it's 0 then just leave these as 0 which is the folder data and then for the character group go to the top one that says like SND group SND group whatever then you get data offset 1 don't don't use data length. Data length is not what you want. You don't want data length. Just don't worry about data length. Data length. Just get data offset one. Data offset offset two for the sound group, and then for the uh, zero x thingy my bob, and then for the waves, and then the wave that's next after that wave. You put it in there, and then you convert insert, and then I don't think you have to have the wave ID, but it's nice to have that. So just put like four or five or zero, whatever it is, whatever wave it is, and then push convert insert, and it'll just put it in there, and it knows exactly where it is because you told it to where you told you told it where it is. So yeah, it's pretty easy once you know what to do. If you guys want to, next time I'll tell you how to do music. See you later.